Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com Well yesterday on my last video we just added a little paragraph section and a title section and uh, before that we discussed about columns and padding and spacing and alignment. What we're going to do today is we're going to use some Google Fonts to make our fonts just a little bit more interesting and Google Fonts has got a huge library and any pretty much any style of font you like to use is going to be there and it's pretty easy to incorporate them with Bootstrap 4. Don't get me wrong Bootstrap 4 has got some great fonts built in I think by default it uses um, Helvetica New, Helvetica Arial and, Arial and Sans Serif Um, but of course you can use all kind of different web safe fonts with it as well and I think it sort of defaults to your devices default font as well but um, web safe font you can put in any any of these web safe fonts I'll put the the link to this web safe fonts page underneath the video there Arial obviously Helvetica Times New Roman if you want a serif one the serif one has the little bits on it the little flourishes times courier courier vadana georgia palatino garamond bookman comic sans trebuchet aerial black impact uh, and that's the name but a few but these are what they call web safe so they will work you can use all of these no problem just put in the font family in your CSS style list. Like I say, I'll put the link to this page below. But this is not what we're going to do today. Today we're going to actually use Google Fonts and I'll put this link below as well or you can just Google Google Fonts and it'll take you there too. So here's Google Fonts and they've got an absolutely huge selection of, of fonts. In fact, I'm not going to scroll down because it will just keep going for too long. And you can change it to the different styles you want. You can have serif, sans serif, display, handwriting, monospace. You can have different languages. Filter it out to get the font that you want. Number of styles, thickness, slant, width. You can filter it out that way. So let's let's choose a couple of fonts here. let's go for our titles let's use Oswald and for our text let's use the railway like I say you use exactly what you want this is just going to dem demo how to actually use these on your site and it's really easy once you've decided on your font just hit the little plus button in the top right corner of your font and it brings up that little box there and shows you the family that you've chosen And I'll show you how to incorporate this into your site. And let's get the railway as well. And you can choose several. I'm going to stick to two. Now, once you've done that, it gives you all the code you need. We need to put this in our HTML. And we need to put these next to the fonts we want to affect with them. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this top bit which is linking to the CSS Google style sheet there control C to copy then we're going to open our index.html I'm using the brackets text editor here if you don't have a text editor brackets is absolutely free and it's got some great features and you can download it from a link below this video also so I'm going to drop down below our bootstrap CSS there and there's our custom CSS one. Let's just drop down and put this with the rest of our style sheet links here. Control V to paste, and that it. There it is. That's telling it to pull it in from the Google API. All right. Let's say that. Control S. Now, nothing will have changed because we haven't told it the styles we want to change it to this is just going to tell it where to grab the styles for these things so we need to go to our custom CSS now if we look at our site 
we've got a heading two here I want to change that to one of them and we've got paragraph text here and I want to change that to the other one and up here we've got paragraph text as well so if we change it down here it's going to change it up here as well the heading text we've actually got on our slider here I think it's h5 so it won't affect that unless we want it to so let's go to our style sheet and we want wanna do h2 and paragraph and just to show you I'm using Google Chrome here if I right click and inspect it'll bring up the HTML here and the CSS over here your tabs may be on a different side you change it with the little three buttons here if it's on the side and you want it on the bottom change it with that as long as you've got styles tab over here you'll have CSS and elements over here you'll have HTML and the point I was trying to show you here was welcome to bootstrap there it is it's h2 we know that because we wrote it in there and this next one that's our paragraph text and that's our paragraph so if we go to our style sheet here it is and typography at the top here we've got one for the h2 we haven't got one for the p so let's do the h2 and we'll make that one our google font so let's have a look at the Google fonts and here's the code so we want railway for the paragraph text and we want Oswald for the title text so I'm going to copy that Oswald font family Oswald sans serif control C back to our style sheet and in our H2 I'm going to put it there to tell it every time you see an H2 we want it to be the font family of Oswald sans serif without the little flourishes on there now we want to do one for the P as well which is our paragraph paragraph font so I'll put P open close some curly brackets and then of course we just need to go back to the Google site we'll take this one railway control C to copy back here and paste it in between our two curly brackets there so every time we have a paragraph text it's going to tell it font family or of railway we can give it a default size if we want to by default um, boot, bootstrap 4's default size for paragraph is usually 16 picks with a line height of 1.5 but if you want to change your paragraph text size you can just put in a font size underneath and make it whatever size you want so okay we've defined the paragraph text and we've defined the heading to font family so let's control s to save go back to our site now what I'll do here's our site get rid of the chrome inspector there I'll keep it here when I refresh this heading is going to change to the Oswald the paragraph will change to the railway and because this is paragraph text up here also it'll change to um, railway as well so let's refresh there you have it that text has actually changed we've got our Oswald there and we've got our railway right here very easy I mean how easy was that and as I said before our text here if I inspect I think that was an h5 was h5 there we are now if we want to make those into our Oswald as well so they've got the same font as our title here we can just say go to our custom CSS and we can put a comma behind the h2 and add h5 so now we're now saying h2 and h5 we want to be the font family of Oswald control s to save refresh and it should change the text on our slider here there we go and it's also made it blue <laughs> which we didn't really want there that's fine let's go back the reason it's done that is because h5 we've got the color of blue the font size of 40 if we take this away 
put it back to how it was because I really don't want the blue color on the H5 so let's save that control s go back it should go back to how it was there we go it's the white let's go back now and give h5 its own little bit of css so we'll drop down so i've got h5 open and close some curly brackets in between there give it a bit of space just going to take this so it'll stay the same height as we've given it but it'll change to the Oswald the same as our other one up there control s to save back to the site now when I refresh it should change but it should actually say stay the same color and size there we go let's now change to the Oswald how does it look with our uh, not the Oswald yes the Oswald second that's fine fine and like I say you can use any of their selection of, of fonts on any size h1 through h6 paragraph tags on anything and it really does give you a huge library and you can mix mix and match font styles with headings and paragraph text and make your site stand out so there you have it that's how to add google fonts to your bootstrap 4 website really easy and really worth doing as well to make your uh, site just stand out so I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.